if the prophet sleeps like humans, definitely he has to wake up like humans as well. And the Prophet ﷺ pattern of sleeping was the best. So, for example, he used to sleep in the beginning of the night after Isha prayer and then wake up at the end or just at the third, uh, last third of the night and pray whatever he could and either waited until Fajr or slept for one sixth of the remaining night and then woke up for Fajr. So that was almost the best for his body, alayhi as-salatu was And whenever he woke up from sleep, he used to say, Alhamdulillah alladhi ahyana ba'dama amatana wa ilayhi nushur So he would say, it is all praise due to Allah Azza wa Jal who resurrected, it, resurrected us after our death and to him we shall return. And whenever he woke up, he started with the following. Number one, he used to use the siwak or the miswak to purify his mouth and to change the bad smell or odor in it. Then he used to perform wudu. And when we wake up in the middle of the night, there is a certain sequence of athkar that we say, for example, we've said this before, La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah lahul mulku wa lahul hamdu wa ala kulli shayin qadir. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allah akbar, la hawla la qutu ilwala wa la ilaha illallah. And then you ask Allah for forgiveness, Rabbi ghfirli. And then you make dua as much as you want because Allah will answer your dua. This is the moment you wake up in the middle of the night. Also, the sunnah is that you perform wudu. So the first thing is that when you go to bed, you go in the state of wudu. If you wake up in the middle of the night, the Prophet says, alayhi salatu wasalam, when you go to bed at night, Satan ties three knots at the back of your head, telling you, you have a long night, keep on sleeping. So if the individual wakes up and remembers Allah by saying the athkar, la ilaha illallah, wa la sharika, etc., the Prophet says, one knot is untied. So if he makes wudu, the second knot is untied. And if he prays, the third and final knot is untied. So when he wakes up, he wakes up strong, agile, and feeling good. When you wake up, the Prophet says, alayhi salatu wasalam, do not dip your hand in the bucket. The moment you wake up, you wash your hands three times because you don't know where your hands had spent the night. And also, he tells us to rinse our noses and blow them three times because the devil has slept at our nostrils. And there are so many, many du'as to be stated and to be read. The Prophet والسلام, used to wake up and in the middle of the night and he used to recite the last uh, 10 verses of Surah Ali Imran uh, before he goes from his bed and he used to wipe his face to shake off the sleep on it and the Prophet used to say alayhi salatu wasalam that woe to those who recite these ten ay ayahs and does not contemplate upon them woe to him woe to him so th it is a huge benefit to us to follow this sequence of what the Prophet used to do alayhi salatu wasalam when waking up the amount of the adhkar we say, Alhamdulillah alladhi hayanan ba'di ma tana wa alayhi nushur. The amount of dua and invocation and supplication, knowing that Allah will answer us, because the Prophet told us, alayhi salatu wasalam, this great dua, 
لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له لهم ملك والحمد على كل شيء قدير سبحان الله الحمد لله الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله رب اغفر لي then you ask Allah for whatever dua you want Allah will answer you this is a promise from the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام however rarely you will find people succeeding in saying it the moment they wake up because a lot of us the first thing they do is check up uh, uh, check on upon their uh, uh, emails or WhatsApp messages or whatever, they scroll down, up and down in their mobiles and they totally forget to say these adhkar, 